Hello friends, in this video, I am going to talk about Advanced REST Client, which is an alternative to Postman. But in my opinion, Advanced REST Client is much more simpler and easier to use as compared to Postman. You can try it yourself and make your own decision. So before we proceed, in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do it. So let's first check, check it out how we can install the ARC and then we will see the features of it. So you can download Advanced REST Client using this particular URL. I'll also put this URL into the description section from which you can copy it. So this uh, installer is available for Windows as well as for uh, Mac and Linux. You can download it from here. So 16.0.1 is the latest version. Now let's move to the advanced REST client and let's see how we can use it. So this is the uh, UI that you will get once you install this uh, advanced REST client into uh, your laptop. So previously this client was also available as a Chrome extension but now they have stopped supporting rather Chrome has stopped supporting uh, these kinds of installers as an uh, extension plugin. So the only option that you have is to, in, uh, to install the desktop client. So you can see that we we can see the history of requests that are run onto this particular slide side and here we can see or we can create the request so you can see that currently i have one request created over here similarly i can add infinite number of tabs here and uh, at the moment whatever the url is there you will see that same in this uh, particular header but if you save this to a project with some meaningful name then that will get uh, reflected here at the moment I haven't saved this particular request to any project now from here you can select the action HTTP action that you want to use and as with the every API request uh, there are some mandatory parameters associated with which are nothing but the protocol the host and the URI and sometimes it can also include query parameters and headers so those we need to put it over here now query addition of query parameter is very easy here we just need to click on this open parameters editor and here we can add different parameter we can also choose whether we want to encode url or decode url uh, at this moment i don't want to add any query, query parameter but i just thought of showing it to you now coming to next uh, here from here we can add the different headers so we can add the headers directly by uh, by either by selecting uh, something from the drop down to make it easier for us to do it otherwise we can also click on this text editor and we can also add it add the headers from this text editor part we can also copy all the headers that are available uh, next is the body so body this particular body uh, tab will appear only in case of posts so for example in case of get you can see we don't have any option to add body so in case of post we can add the body here we can also uh, select whether it is a raw input multi-part form data or you can also select it from the file uh, one more thing is that in case of raw input we can select the type of content type of the incoming uh, rather content type of the request that we are sending it could be json xml or uh, uh, html so in case this case this is a json so i selected as a json uh, then authorization so there is one cool feature you should note uh, about uh, which is about the oauth2 for example when i click on oauth2 uh, we can yeah, let me select oauth2 yeah so when we select oauth2 i can even click on this request access token tab uh, so what this request access token will do is that it will give you or it rather it will create the token first before sending the request so as you know in case of oauth2 we need to first get the access token and then using access token we have to make the subsequent calls so here advanced rest client itself provides you those configuration wherein you can configure the client id scope things and other things and you can do this uh, retrieving this access token beforehand directly with the help of advanced rest client similarly in case of action you can add any particular uh, request action you can put the conditions uh, and on the basis of it you can retrieve the value action is a separate part that will cover in a separate uh, video because this is a quite uh, uh, complex part and i think this deserves a separate video so in case if you are looking for that do let me know in the comment section and i'll make on it similarly in the response section you can add it 
similarly in the request action you can put different kind of uh, uh, different kind of configurations are there code snippet is also something where you can directly write the curl command over here so let me send this request and then it will give us the response so you can see here let me first close all these things so this is the re default response that you will see now there are different ways wherein you can uh, see the parameters associated with the response you can check the timings wherein it will show you the details of execution time took by different activities whether it is a dns lookup whether it is a content download what is exactly the wait time to receive the response similarly if you click on header it will show you all the response header that are received and similarly the request header and the uh, message that we had sent and lastly redirects will show if there are any redirects associated with this call in this case there are none so this section is empty and when we click on this raw so it gives uh, the raw text received as a response of this api call uh, we can also save this to file and copy this to clip clipboard so you can understand that when as a developer you are doing some testing of any of any apis or web services then it, this gives you very easy to use functionality to create to trigger those requests as i mentioned we can create different tabs over here we can also create the different environments and system variables the way we can create it into uh, create into postman uh, if you want to create projects those can be uh, created from here you can add a project over here you also have the option to uh, drop the api project here so so if you are working as a mule soft developer you can drag the raml file and drop it here and it will create the interactive documentation by itself you can also uh, save these uh, projects onto google drive so that uh, option is also available with the help of advanced rest client so you can give advanced rest client a try and do let me know in the comment section do you find this better as compared to postman the way i find it and if you are looking for any detailed video on any particular topic related to advanced rest class do let me know i'll be very happy to make one so that was the quick introduction of advanced rest client you can try it yourself and let me know how you feel about it in the comment section thank you and happy learning